Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In chapter 2, you will learn uh, about Green's Theorem, Stokes Theorem and also Gauss Theorem. For today's lesson, we learn about Green's Theorem. Green's Theorem state the relationship between line integral and also double integral. So let's say we have line integral of C1 line integral of c2 and also line integral of c3 give you the double integral of this region r okay to apply green's theorem uh, the curve c must be simply connected piecewise smooth and closed curve okay with a counterclockwise orientation or positive orientation into the plane region r so, so we consider line integral okay. to apply this theorem this line integral must be positive orientation counter clockwise counter clockwise c2 c3 and c4 let the vector f have component of p and q where P and Q have continuous first partial derivatives, then the Green theorem is defined as okay, the following formula. So this is the line integral. Okay, equal to the double integral. This notation for line integral means that uh, the curve C satisfies all the conditions for Green theorem. Okay, where the curve C is simple, closed curve, okay, closed curve, okay, have positive orientation, okay, and the vector f is not conservative. The integration of f dot ds not equal to zero. For Green's theorem instead of you calculate line integral using this formula you can calculate using double integral to solve the green's theorem first you must sketch the region then refer to the question if the question asks you to verify or to prove the green's theorem then you must calculate both sides of this equation okay you must calculate left hand side and also you must calculate right hand side okay, if the question okay, asks you to evaluate so you can calculate one side okay, for example evaluate this one evaluate the line integral here so you must show the right hand side if given the right hand side okay, you must show the left hand side Okay, let's look at example. Okay, before that, let's look at how to solve line integral. Okay, line integral by using parametric re representation of curve C. So, for line integral, you must change all the terms in uh, this formula to T. Change to T. First, you must find RT. Okay, using this table. Okay, for circle, it is given by this formula. For ellipse, this year. Line segment is this here, and this is for other curves. And then calculate the R. Okay, next you change F to FT. Okay, next find the limit of integration and then integrate. Let's look at example one. Verify the Green's theorem. Okay. Where C is the boundary described counterclockwise of a triangle with vertices 0, 0, 2, 0 and 2, 2. Okay, step 1. Triangle. Draw the, draw the curve.
step number two. So for this example, given verify, then you must show or calculate both side, both side. F dot dr equal to p dx plus q dy equal to this is left hand side equal to del q over del x minus del p over del y da So first you must show left hand side. Okay, solve the line integral. Okay, second, solve for right hand side using double integral. You must calculate line integral for each line. So we have C1, C2 and C3. Cf dot dr is actually the integration of C1, F dr plus c2 f dot dr plus c3 f dot dr okay, from question okay, to calculate uh, line integral we must know the vector f so, okay, from the question we have x y square dx plus x square dy here coefficient of dx is f1 so f vector of f is f1 f2 so f1 equal to x y square this is f2 coefficient for dy x2 ok and then you solve line integral for each curve for line c1 Okay, this line refer to y equal to 0. Here, at this line, y equal to 0. So, so using param parameterization, okay, this is other curve, eh? y equal to something. Okay, since y equal to 0, we choose this parameterization. x equal to t. x equal to t, y equal to 0. And t is from, t is x, eh? So, 0 to 0 to 2. Okay. And then, and then solve. Okay, for C1, you get 0. Okay. Line integral for C2, you get 8. Line integral for C3, negative 20 over 3. Okay, total is 4 over 3. Okay. To do line integral, have other method. Using substitution into the equation for line C1, y equal to 0. Here, y equal to 0. So, dy differentiate y to x, you will get 0. Here, at this line, x from 0 to 2. And substitute all information into the equation. Okay. X equal to okay, X remain. Y is 0. Okay. Dx becomes 0. Plus X square. Dy equal to, equal to 0. So total equal to 0. Okay. For line 2. Here for this line, x equal to 2. Here this line, x equal to 2. So x equal to 2. Differentiate x to y, you will get 0. Okay, y is from here, 0 to 2. So, substitute into here. Good. 
straight 0 to 4 dy equal to 4y 0 to 8 for c2 the line integral is 8 okay for line c3 x equal to y line x equal to y so x equal to y you differentiate x equal to 1 dy x is from 2 to 0 ok 2 to 0 2 to 0 x square dx plus x square dx of and for now so we we'll get f20 over 3 okay you will get the same answer total line integral equal to 4 over 3 okay this is left hand side calculation for like left hand side you must so show the right hand side which is the double integral Question determine P and also Q. Okay, P, P dx plus Q dy. P is coefficient for x. Q is coefficient for y, dy. So here, P equal to xy square. Q equal to x square. Okay, and then differentiate. P differentiate to y. P over the y equal to 2 x y del q differentiate to x 2 x so we have substitute into the formula 2 x minus 2 x y okay da Okay, put dy dx. Okay, and then determine the limit. Okay, limit for y will be from 0. Okay, let's say I want to put x is from 0 to 2 this is x so 0 to 2 y okay, y equal to what well, the limit of y okay, y is from 0 to this line ok this line y equal to 0 to this line this line is y equal to x. Equal to x. So, the limit is from z. The limit is from 0 to x. Okay, and then solve for the integration. Right hand side must be equal to left hand side. So you have verified the Green's theorem for this question. Okay, let's look at example 2. Okay, by using the Green's theorem, evaluate. Okay, we have a key term here, evaluate. So you must show one side only. Since we have this, this is left hand side. So you must show right hand side, which is the double integral. You must show this one is R. Del Q over del X minus del P over del Y DA. Okay, you must 
you must solve okay step one uh, draw the curve okay, the curve is circle x square plus y square equal to 9 so the radius is 3 okay, square root 9 equal to 3 okay so this is okay and step number two uh, solve the right hand side okay first determine p and q from the question okay remember p is coefficient for dx p equal to negative y q equal to coefficient for d dy so x then differentiate p to y negative 1 q to x equal to 1 and then substitute into this formula 1 minus minus 1 da equal to 2 da so for a here you must use uh, polar coordinate for a circle. So S equal to R. R. D R D theta. And then determine the limit. Okay, for R. R is from 0 to 3. Theta. Theta is the angle. 0 to 2 pi. Okay, and then soft. Okay. For double integral, for the right hand side, we get 18 pi. So instead of calculate integral for this circle, you can you can solve using double integral. Okay, look let's look at example three. Given this f, okay, the vector f, by using Green's theorem, evaluate. Okay, you have the key term evaluate here. Evaluate the line integral where c is a curve of y equal to x square over 2 and y equal to x transverse anti-clockwise so in the positive direction okay step number one okay draw the draw the figures or draw the graph okay so the graph for y equal to x square over 2 will, will be given by this figure or this line okay this is y equal to x c is the area of these two graph given by this region so we have uh, for we, you can let this is c1 the curve one okay refer to x square over 2 and this one is c2 which refer to y equal to x okay step number two okay we want to calculate just since the question asks you to evaluate, evaluate this left hand side. Then you must show the right hand side. Given f equal to y square x square. When you put into the formula f dot tr equal to y square x square dot Okay, the R. The R is equal to vector of dx dy. So, dx dy. This is actually y square dx plus x square dy. Okay, from here, you can determine P and also Q. And this is P and this is Q. 
P equal to Y square, Q equal to X square. And then differentiate P to Y. Substitute into the formula. And sorry, this one is x. So two x minus two y. So the area here refer to dy dx. Okay, and then determine the limit. Here, I want to put x from, based on this graph, I want to put x from 0 to 2. So x is from 0 to 2. Y, lower limit, okay, for this graph of y, given by this formula. The lower limit of y, Okay, this is why the, the lower limit of y is actually is on this line. So y equal to x square over 2. So the lower limit is x square over 2. And the upper limit is here. So here y equal to x, so x. Then substitute in the formula, we have x square over 2, 2x, two x, x from 0 to 2. Okay, and then you solve. So that's all for today. Bye. Bye. Assalamualaikum.